Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resolve the Windows 10 or Windows 11 upgrade error code 0x8007-00B7-0x2-000A. That you are experiencing on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer, that the installation failed in safe OS phase with the error during prepare first boot operation. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So first thing I'd recommend doing would be to actually check the system requirements for Windows 10 or Windows 11, depending on which operating system you are trying to upgrade or install. So if you're unsure of how to determine that, you just go over to Google. And if you type in, for example, let's say Windows 11 requirements, and you go right to Microsoft.com, Windows 11 specs and system requirements, and just open that up. It'll give you a full listing of all the requirements to run Windows 11, assuming you're not going around and using unsupported hardware, which you can do, but that's not for the purpose of this tutorial. If you're going to try and resolve that particular error message, this is what you're going to have to do in order to get rid of that message. So just want to put that out there. And if we were to do the same for Windows 10, we can go ahead and search for that instead. And again, support.microsoft.com. And it gives you all the latest information of what you need in order to actually run Windows 10. And I mean, this pretty much works for any operating system. So pretty straightforward. You want to open up the search menu, type in troubleshoot, best match, you come back with troubleshoot settings. Go ahead and open that up. On the right side, you want to select other troubleshooters. Just go ahead and open that up. And then underneath most frequent, select the Windows Update Troubleshooter and then select the Run button. Okay, so hopefully it would be able to actually find and detect in the issue you're having and it might be able to hopefully resolve it. And then you could be on your way with the Windows upgrade. Something else we can take a look into as well would be to actually try and repair corrupt system files. So open up the search menu and type in CMD, best match, come back with command prompt. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And now I will have two commands in the description of my video. Go ahead and copy the first one. It's the system file checker utility. And then go up to the top bar of the command prompt window here. Right click on it. Select edit and then paste it in. Give it a few minutes to run the scan. It will take some time so please be patient. Okay, so once that one is done, go ahead and copy and paste the second command I'm going to have in the description of the video and give that one a couple minutes to run as well.
Okay, so once that's done, go ahead and close out of here and then restart your computer. And there you go, guys. Hopefully now if you try and proceed with the installation, you should be good to go, assuming, again, you didn't have an issue with hardware requirements, in which case you'd have to do a different method. But in that case, you wouldn't even be able to run that setup file in its current state. It's beyond the scope of this video, basically. But if you're just coming across the error message and you have supported hardware, this tutorial should hopefully be able to resolve the problem for you. So, as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.